Hello and welcome to another video from FilmsByChris.com. Chris with a K. There's a link in the description of my website. I'm Chris with a K. Here is the game we created so far. This is number four in a video series on creating a basic game with the Godot game engine. We're going 2D here, very simple art style here. We have a player that can double jump and can also collect coins. Uh, our camera follows our player as we move around. <laughs> Sorry, that might be kind of loud. Let's lower that a little bit. So the camera follows our player as he moves around and goes up these platforms. Uh, let's see what happens if our player goes off the edge of the screen here, though. He falls. And he'll fall forever. So let's hit escape to get out of that. Let's set it up. We could put bounds to the wall, right? We could we could put some individual, invisible barriers here, or we could actually build a wall. So like actually, if we were to go to our tile map here, choose our tile map here, choose the tile that we've created that has collision detection on it, and make sure we're on the paint here. I can come up here and you can see that I have, uh, I can paint it here, but let's say I was to do this. There's a rotate button here. Uh, X to rotate right, or I can click that, or Z to rotate left. So I can come up here and I can hit X and it rotates. So now I can draw a wall like this. I can do Z twice and I can draw a wall like this. So now if I hit F5, since that tile has collision, I can create bounds to my map like so. And I can do that all the way up if I want. But just for fun, let's see what happens. Let's set it so that if we run off the edge of the screen and go down too far, it restarts the map. So hit escape. Let's go ahead and erase, Ooh. choose our tile map, tile set, tile map, and we will erase these. So there's a few w different ways we can do this. We could put something down here that if the player touches, it restarts the level, or we can set if the player goes below a certain amount. Let's just go ahead and add something that will allow the player to detect when it gets hit. Uh, there's a few different ways to do this. I'm just going to say right click on our map here. I'm going to add a child. I'm going to say area 2D. And for this, I'm going to say for its collision, I'm going to make it on the map layer. And it's going to collide with layer 1, which is players. And I need to add a collision shape to it. So add collision shape 2D. And we're going to give it a shape. And this time we'll just do a new segment shape, which is a line, right? So here it is, it's right here. I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna draw this line really big so that the player can't not touch it, right? And with the area 2D selected, we're gonna to go to node and we're gonna say body entered. So when a body touches it, we'll double click that and we'll say that we'll call this out of bounds. I guess I could make that a little clearer if I wrote it with underscores there. Connect. So now we have out of bounds. So again, we should check if it's a player touching it. So we can say if uh, not the body dot is in group players, then return. Again, we set it up so that the only Collision layer, it's touching is a player's, so it shouldn't be an issue, but it doesn't hurt to check and make sure it's a player. So if it's not a player, then just X add this. If it is a player, it's going to continue. We're going to say get tree, uh, and then we're going to say re reload current scene. So again, the tree, when we say get tree, we're saying get this, our entire tree here. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to reload the current scene. That's a built in function. So now, when we go off the edge of the screen and we go down far enough, like so, if I did everything right, it just restarted the level. Now you could put a delay on that and make some sound or say game over, uh, but I just wanna show you the basic concepts of restarting the map when the player goes too far. And let's just make sure that I can't. Okay, good, I made the line far enough that I don't think I can jump past it. That's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to add something like that into here. Uh, I hope that you're enjoying this series. That was a basic little, short little video here. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you have a great day.